today we're gonna talk about the seven services that we offer in our detailing business. I'll kind of break down what each service is and then I'll give you a general price range for each service. And I do wanna mention that today is the last day that my online marketing course, SEO for Detailers, will be open for enrollment. SEO is search engine optimization. That's when you rank your website on the first page of Google in your local area. It's how we've been able to grow our business past $10,000 per month over the last seven years. If you wanna check it out, click the link in the description box. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. So it's gonna be three main interior services. It's gonna be a full interior cleaning. That's when we do a, a deep cleaning on the interior, so extracting the seats, um, the floor mats, the carpeting, it's scrubbing the plastics and leather, cleaning the glass. This is your pretty standard interior deep cleaning. This is about what 95% of the interior cleanings that we do is gonna fall within this kind of service. Um, next we have is a smoke odor removal. Now this one is essentially the, the full interior cleaning, just more thorough, and then we include an ozone treatment to remove the odor. Um, this is more of like a specialty service, so this doesn't happen too often. And then our most basic one is our mini interior detail, and that's more like a maintenance interior cleaning. So it's gonna just vacuum the interior, wipe down the plastics, and clean the glass and door jam. That's essentially it. So as far as pricing goes, it's gonna depend on the size of the vehicle, the condition of the vehicle, and what the customer wants. But for a full interior cleaning, I'm thinking from like a sedan all the way up to a SUV, it could range between 220 to $400 on the average price, average condition. Obviously it can go much higher if it's a more severe condition. Um, for the smoke odor removal, again, I'm thinking from a sedan all the way up to an SUV, could range between 600 to the highest we've charged is $1,400 for a service of like this. And then for mini interior detail, that's pretty easy. It can range between like 60 to 120, again, just depending on the condition. Now for the exterior, there are seven services, but one of the services has like three variants to it. So um, for the exterior, we have a premium wash. I made a video a while ago if you wanna go check it out, or I'll have a link down in the description where it's, it's a thorough hand wash. We do a lot more than your standard basic car wash that you see that's like 10 bucks, which is why we name it a premium wash. It also gives it that higher, that kind of kind of that higher feeling of like, okay, this is gonna be more expensive than just a basic wash. Um, that one typically can range between like 50 to $120, again, depending on the size of the vehicle. Um, next is a wash and wax, so that's pretty straightforward. We're gonna wash, clay, uh, I wash, do iron decon, clay, and then apply the sealant, dress the tires, clean the wheels, all that good stuff. Um, that can range between like 160 to, again, like $380. Uh, next up here, which is the one that has like a few variants to it, is paint correction. So I'm gonna name that as one, number three, but within that, it could be a two-step correction, it could be a one-step polish, it could be a paint enhancement. Um, again, this one, because like there's so many levels to what the customer might want or what their budget is that we'll have to kind of make sure we're kind of make sure we're, we're gonna offer the right service. So um, it's like a two-step correction obviously is gonna be the biggest transformation because we're able to remove, give it, you know, the vehicle might be between 60 to 80%, um, you know, if it's soft clear coat, hard clear coat, whatever, whatever. Um, for two-step correction, we'll, we'll you know, remove 60 to 80% of the swirls. A one-step, depending on the condition, can be, you know, 40 to 60% removal. Sometimes it's crazy and it gets like 70% removal and it looks like fantastic. Um, a paint enhancement that one is more like it's just a quick pass it's not meant to be like a dramatic transformation that one could be like 20 to 40 percent removal just depending on the condition um, and this is where like the biggest price difference is going to be just because the, the level of work and results that you get from a two-step to a paint enhancement are completely different so um, a paint enhancement can be you know anywhere between like 280 to $400 depending on the size. Um, a one-step polish could be 400 to 800, and a two-step correction could be 600 to 1200, right? Just there's, there's so many factors that you have to look at. Each vehicle is gonna kind of be its own thing, so I'm just giving some very vague uh, price points here. Um, next is the ceramic coating. Now this one, it's gonna be on a, on a standalone as well, just because um, 
Sometimes it's gonna be included with the paint correction, sometimes it's not, right? And again, like depending on the vehicle, you don't always have to do a two-step correction. A lot of times you could just do a one-step polish. Um, we have another customer that we have on the schedule where um, I think it's a Land Rover or a Range Rover, forgot what vehicle, but the, like he just purchased it and the paint is like legitimately in great condition. There's a few swirls here and there, but it's not like littered with swirls and scratches. So with that one, we're gonna give it a light polish just to make sure everything is leveled out. And we're gonna spot correct a few a few places. But other than that, like the, the paint is like pretty, like it's almost immaculate, to the, especially like it being brand new, that it doesn't take that much work to apply the ceramic coating on it as far as prep work goes. So, um, so sometimes, it, I mean, so, so it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go with a two-step correction every single time to apply a ceramic coating. Um, so with this one, we no longer do the three, six, nine year ceramic coatings. I really never was a fan of that. Um, I, just, it's, it, I just didn't like how you charge a lot more for essentially doing the same process with the same bottle. I just, not a fan of it, didn't really believe in it. So now we just use one coating, one four year coating. And depending on the, on the size of the vehicle, again, like doing an Escalade, just by the sheer size of it is much different if you're working like on a on a 2022 Supra, right? Like completely different sizes. So um, as a whole, it could be like anywhere between like uh, 300, 350 to uh, you know, 400, 700, 800 dollars for the coating. Um, next up is we have a headlight restoration. That's pretty straightforward. Um, we're gonna sand, buff, polish, and do a ceramic coating. This one is typically 120 dollars. Um, the next one here is the engine bay cleaning. Very standard. Our prices are 80 dollars, and. I always get in the comment section of like, you're charging $80 to clean an engine. That's insane. As if they don't say that with every other service that we offer, right? But with that, with that one, it's like, we're not trying to book out our schedule with premium washes, mini interior details, and engine bay cleanings. Like, we don't wanna have a big old list of like, okay, yeah, we're doing 27 engine bays and premium, premium washes this month. Like, that, that's not the goal of these services, which is why they're priced high. Because if you want us to do it, we're gonna charge accordingly because it's like there's other services that we can be doing and customers that we can be working with that, you know, just like that fits our, our business and what we're doing, like it's just a higher ticket versus like the same reason why we don't have a bunch of maintenance clients is like maintenance clients for, for at face value, you have repeat customers that's on the schedule, but there's a lot of drawbacks to those maintenance schedules, maintenance clients getting in the way of your calendar. And like, if you want to go book a, a, a $1,500 job, but you have four maintenance clients scattered throughout the week. It's like, so so how are you gonna work on the big client when you have to like go over here, then go over there, then go over here, instead of just like working on this one big client and it's a much higher ticket item. So that's why we're, you know, we try to price ourselves accordingly with those services, with the smaller jobs, just because again, like we don't want a fully maxed out schedule with a, just, oh, for a bunch of small jobs. Um, and then lastly here is paint overspray removal. Again, that's more of a specialty. It doesn't happen too often. Um, that's when a vehicle gets overspray from either there's painters painting a fence, a building, or maybe they took it into a body shop and um, just the body shop being careless, they didn't cover the, the vehicle with the overspray on panels. So on this one, uh, depending on what it is again, could be anywhere between like, 400 to 1300 dollars so that's gonna wrap up this video let me know if you have any specific questions about any of the services or the pricing that you want me to break down again i have the other video on our premium wash i'll have it linked down below and if you want to check out seo for detailers the course is closing today at midnight you can also find that in the description box down below thank you very much i'll talk to you on the next one